household names, all with one thing in common. See if you can guess. Oh, they love these trivia things here on Quest Means Business. First, Dyson, known for making vacuums and hand dryers. Second, Apple, known for iPhones and MacBooks. It's worth more than a trillion dollars now. Third, Kalashnikov. Yeah, I'm talking Kalashnikov. The Russian defense manufacturer, famous for, of course, the AK-47 assault rifle. Yep, they all want to make cars and join the electric car future. Dyson is now investing another $150 million in its project, building a brand new research and testing center at a former military airfield in England. And here's the latest electric car concept vehicle from Kalashnikov. It's based on a popular Soviet-era hatchback. One analyst called the design, hmm, Pretty brave. <laughs> it's, it's kind of brave. Meantime, Volkswagen warns it's struggling to keep up with the new emissions rules in the European Union. Jack Ewing has written a book on the Volkswagen scandal, and he joins me now um, from Skype on Skype from Frankfurt. I, I've spoken to you before, and I'm happy to have you on again because you've done so much um, investigative work into this issue. Volkswagen now saying, look, we just can't possibly meet these standards. When I hear this, I think to myself, what you had told us before, this goes so much deeper than failing emissions tests. I mean, really, it's going to have to be a, a ground up revolution for the company. Yeah, I mean, these new tests are supposed to be closer to reality to give a better picture of what cars are actually emitting. And this is something that Volkswagen can't get wrong with all the problems that it's had with emissions. So there's a huge bottleneck, there's, there's delays in delivering super, uh, certain models. And, and it's definitely causing a lot of problems for the company when they're still struggling with the emissions crisis. What's at the heart of the issue here, though? I mean, we're always hearing about the famous engineering that goes into cars like Volkswagen, and yet consumers may be left with the impression that actually they were scammed for many, many years because they do not seem to get ahead of this. Well, I think for a long time, the automakers, they, they didn't really want to invest in emissions because they didn't see that as a selling point. It was something they had to do, but nobody went into the auto dealer and said, I want a car with the great emissions. They looked at other things. So the car makers paid as little attention to that as they could. And now they're having, because of the diesel scandal, Volkswagen is having to pay a lot more attention to it. And they're sort of caught off guard even three years after this whole thing came to light. What's at stake here, not just for Volkswagen, but the, the whole European manufacturing sector as they try, because they, we've had other scandals from other car companies, as they try and come to, grip, come to grips with these kinds of emissions? Well, I think uh, you mentioned these other companies that are trying to get into the, the electric car business. That's really it, is that there is a shift to uh, new technologies, self-driving cars, electric cars, and that's an opening for new companies uh, to get into the car business. And we'll see how many of these actually succeed. But there's no doubt that Tesla, for all its problems, has really put a scare into the traditional car makers, and they're trying to catch up fast. And that's another part of Volkswagen's problem because they're dealing with these uh, this new emissions uh, process. They're trying to um, get uh, uh, on. They're, they're trying to. Uh, invest in electric cars are trying to do a whole lot of things at once and it's very difficult. And Jack, I know that you follow the economics of this very closely when it comes to European car manufacturing. The EU uh, in its trade disputes with the United States is now suggesting that they may, they may bring down the auto tariffs. What's that work there in terms of the long-term strategy if you're looking at EU policy in cars? Well, the EU is, is basically they're giving into pre pressure from uh, President Trump. He's threatened to put tariffs, 25% uh, tariffs on cars coming from Europe or coming from Mexico, where Volkswagen builds a lot of cars. And that would be catastrophic for the auto industry because of all the other problems we were just talking about. So even though they are very resentful of the pressure that they're being put under, uh, they're showing signs of giving in and, and the uh, chief, uh, the European Trade Commissioner, Commissioner Cecilia Malmstrom said today, that they were willing to talk about zero tariffs on cars. Yeah, which, like you said, is exactly what the president wanted, wanted and it would be a game changer for the car market uh, in Europe. Uh, Jack, thanks so much. Really appreciate it.